South Africa is taking inspiration from Zimbabwe's successful modernization of its border infrastructure at the Bitebridge border post to enhance the movement of people, goods, and services. This move comes as the region aims to integrate border management activities to facilitate trade and the free movement of individuals, as part of the African Continental Free Trade Area ACFTA, in Zimbabwe has been a trailblazer in the region, investing $300 million in refurbishing the Bitebridge border post. This significant upgrade has transformed it from a bottleneck-ridden and notorious delay causing border crossing into the most efficient on the African continent. The Bight Bridge border post serves Zimbabwe, South Africa, Malawi, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. With Zimbabwe leading the way, South Africa now faces the responsibility of ensuring harmonious border operations from both sides of the Limpopo River, especially at Africa's busiest port of entry. In this regard, President Emerson Mnangagwa of Zimbabwe met with his South African counterpart, President Cyril Ramaphosa, to discuss and inspect the border post together. President Mnangagwa emphasized the importance of enhancing people-to-people -people relations between the two countries' separate farmers' workshop flyer. The Bight Bridge border post witnesses a daily influx of over 15,000 people and more than 500 trucks, facilitating trade between Zimbabwe and South Africa, one of its major trading partners. Following the tour of the border post, President Ramaphosa expressed his intention to revamp the South African side, inspired by the improvements he witnessed on the Zimbabwean side. He emphasized the need to modernize people movement and infrastructure, aiming to replicate the success of on the Zimbabwean side, crossing time has been significantly reduced by separating buses, light vehicles, and trucks into individual streams with dedicated terminals and supporting infrastructure. This model has garnered interest from several countries, including South Africa, seeking to replicate Zimbabwe's achieve accompanied by ministers, senior government officials, and business people. The two presidents explored opportunities for collaboration and closer ties between their countries, both politically and at a people-to-people -people level. South Africa's observation and intention to learn from Zimbabwe's border infrastructure improvements indicate a positive step toward enhancing trade facilitation and strengthening relations between the two nations. They are my brother.